there are some uh, military movies coming out in 2022. Some of them are out. Uh, some of them are still coming out. Uh, why don't you talk to us what we should be anticipating? Well, let's have a rerun from our conversation last year. So the biggest military movie we're waiting for in 2022 is still Top Gun Maverick. Um, we've been waiting for years. And <laughs> that movie's had, I think it's on its sixth official release date now, but it, we're looking at Memorial Day weekend now. And um, I know a few people have seen it. A lot of us are dying to see it. There are a lot of promises about the quality of the air battle scenes and the camera technology they use to capture those scenes. So um, it, at the very least, I'm expecting a very spectacular looking movie. Um, I'm not sure how you tell the story of Captain Pete Mitchell 30 years on. It's hard to believe he's still affiliated with Top Gun, um, but it is a it is a fictional movie. So we'll see what happened to Tom Cruise and Pete Mitchell um, Maverick sometime later this spring. It's always hard to take an icon and resurrect it, and, and particularly one, as you say, three decades later, we're going to give you a sequel. I'm not sure. We'll, but we'll see. We're looking forward to that. What, what else is out there, James, that we ought to be looking at? Well, I'm very excited about um, the director, Baz Luhrmann, has made a biography of Elvis Presley, who we all think of at Military.com as Army veteran Elvis Presley. And um, his service in Germany is a really critical moment in his life because that's where he met his future wife Priscilla who was the daughter of an Air Force officer and even though it's a brief moment in the trailer that's out there now we do see Elvis in uniform um, making eyes at Priscilla so I hope we'll see um, that part of the story it's hard to put that man's life into a, a two-hour movie but um, that'll be coming this summer um, and we get another Mission Impossible movie this fall. Um, and those are espionage movies that aren't strictly military, but you know, many of the characters in the Mission Impossible series are veterans or military connected. And um, at least at military.com, we like to count our James Bonds and Mission Impossible spy movies as part of our coverage. So, um, Well, and we love all the gadgets, right? It's Mission Impossible absolutely. and James Bond wouldn't be, those movies wouldn't be half the fun if you didn't have all the gadgets. And that's what we all look at it. Boy, I bet that shows up somewhere in the real world. Um, also really exciting for those of us who read um, military thriller fiction, um, Mark Greeny's character, The Gray Man, has finally made it to the screen after more the, than a decade. Um, the Russo brothers, who directed most of the really big Marvel movies, including Adventures Endgame, um, have made a movie with um, Chris Evans and Ryan Gosling as the Gray Man. And um, readers of those books know that this CIA operative assassin um, didn't actually serve in the military. He came up through a sort of a militia culture in Florida, um, but most of what... Um, Court Gentry, the character's name, what, what Court goes through, he's dealing with former SEALs, current military people, and there's a real clash between the gray man, the character, and the military culture that he has to deal with to do his job. And when, and when are you expecting that out uh, then, James? That's gonna, that is a Netflix movie. Um, Netflix are notorious for not giving specific dates, but I would think it's going to be sometime this summer. Um. You know, to stretch it out a little bit, um, part of it, and it's not written about in my 12 movies to watch for, but there are a lot more military TV series, especially at, at Amazon Prime Video, that are making a big impact on what we cover. So there's already been the Reacher series this year based on the Jack Reacher novels um, by Prime Video. And then coming this summer, um, there's the Terminal List starring Chris Pratt, which is based on um, Jack Carr's novel series about former SEAL James Reese, who is a um, unstoppable killing machine who's on a mission to avenge his family. And I would think that Netflix and Prime Video are going to try to not put the gray man and the terminalist out at the exact same time, but we'll both, we'll see both of those this summer. Well, we've all learned to binge over uh, binge watch uh, these series over the uh, last couple of years during the pandemic's um, impact on all of us. And 
It's also impacted uh, sort of big budget war movies, hasn't it? Listen to this full episode and more on the Apple Podcasts app, Blog Talk Radio, Google Podcasts, or iHeartRadio. And now streaming on Amazon Music, Audible, and Spotify.